Yeah, guys, we're here today because we made it to 500 subscribers. Woo! Yeah, I, I actually wasn't expecting to, like, get there quite yet. But uh, after I did my, uh, after last weekend where I did uh, all three of those Flatfest live streams, um, the next day, um, at, like, the afternoon, uh, I checked my channel and saw that I actually did it because like I'm pretty sure like when I checked the previous night I was still at only like 497 so yeah I gained the three extra subscribers I needed and we totally did it guys thank you all very much uh, I really can't express enough that like yeah this really was a surprise to me and I'm very happy about it totally makes me feel like the grind is worth it so yeah guys, 500, that's a pretty great milestone. We're halfway to 1k. So I really I really feel confident now. Like if I made it this far, I could totally make it to 1k someday. But yeah, also to be honest with you guys, like sometimes even I have had my moments where like I uh ah <laughs> Well, not a bad trade. Anyway, yeah, even I've had my moments where, like, I doubted myself in terms of even the channel, where, like, I was just, like, considering, not really considering, but, like, having thoughts in my head being, like, well, I, I don't know why I bothered to continue doing this. I should give, <laughs> just give up on it. But, like, I, I kept pushing through because I knew... At the end of the day, I still want to do this because I'm very passionate about what I do. Um, I really do enjoy the process of editing my videos. It's a lot of fun to like always go through the footage and um, see what happened and just produce the final product that you all see. And I have some nice laughs al along the way. So, so yeah, it's all totally worth it. Plus, I feel like. Um, Obviously, I know not every YouTuber is like this, like, some YouTubers will actually, like, change their personality when they do content, but, like, me personally, I don't do that. Like, yeah, what, what you see in my videos and my streams, like, that, that's still the real me. So, really, just entertaining people just by, like, being myself, um, that's something I'm really happy to be doing. So, yeah, guys, in case there are any other smaller content creators out there watching this, don't give up. Keep pursuing your dreams. So yeah, um, I guess I could even just talk a little bit about uh, like why I started my channel in the first place. Um, I've actually been doing this for a while. Uh, I started when I was like 14, <laughs> but really it's just because like I was um, really excited about like some of the stuff in regards to the future of franchises that I really enjoyed. Uh, particularly with Sonic and also Spider-Man uh, so like yeah back in like 2017 there were two Sonic games coming out there was uh, Sonic Mania and also Sonic Forces so uh, basically yeah because of that like that was kind of like a good time to be a Sonic fan since like there was a lot of hype going around for that uh, so like I decided to join in on that and I made some videos uh, before those games came out where like I uh, reviewed some of the old Sonic games and also um, whenever they would show like new trailers and stuff for uh, the games that were coming out I would like analyze it and I really enjoyed doing all that but yeah eventually the Sonic era kind of came to an end um, I also forgot to mention Spider-Man PS4. I was covering that game before it even came out. Like, I remember when E3 2017 happened, where, like, they showed that, uh, demo of, like, the, um, helicopter chase. Like, I actually did a video on that. And, uh, go, going, like, diving more into, uh, Spider-Man PS4, that was also, like, an inspiration for my channel in regards that, uh, there's another YouTuber that I'm, uh, really big fan of named Evan Falarka. Um, he actually started his channel back in like 2016 because of Spider-Man PS4 being announced and uh, he was an inspiration to me so Al uh, yeah he he also was like one of the reasons why I started like watching his video seeing 
I, I legit have been watching that guy ever since the very first video that he posted. So seeing how far he came uh, was has been really inspiring. And the fact that like he even got an easter egg in the game in the one side mission, um, Spider-Man P.I. And then uh, eventually of course he came to form the uh, Spidey Squad community which also has an easter egg in the game. So yeah, I kind of wanted to like, you know, be like him, but also, you know, do it my way, you know? Just like Peter would say to Miles, don't do it like me, do it like you. So yeah, of course, I still do Spider-Man content, I'm still like talking about the games, and I'm diving even more into that territory now, since like, now I'm gonna start talking about the movies, and um, gonna be like doing retrospectives of like some old Spider-Man media. Like, even some of the TV shows and comics I'm going to be doing content on. And of course, I also focus on Splatoon nowadays because this game is very fun. And I'm also part of the uh, competitive scene where uh, I play with my team Chaos Control, captained by the one and only Sonic High. So yeah, it was a bit of a process to find my identity, but eventually I got there. <laughs> I like how Sonic High is just like, you say that like I'm famous. <laughs> well, you may not exactly be famous, but I mean, you're still really cool, right? <laughs> Come on, take the compliment. I am on a spree right now. <laughs> Pandora. Any, anyone else remember that? <laughs> I actually used to use that in middle school. Like, literally, in middle school, like, our tech teacher actually let us listen to music while we were working, so, uh, yeah. Uh, the teacher, she had us all use Pandora for music, so, uh, I, I would just listen to, um, at the time at least, I would just listen to Adele and Big Time Rush. <laughs> but me listening to Big Time Rush still hasn't changed. <laughs> I still listen to their stuff all the time because of nostalgia and also just like the positive messages in their uh, music. How did I... okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, how did I survive that? But then I got shot. Oh no, Pandora splatted me. <laughs> okay, watch this guys. This is gonna be a 5-0 to zero series. And is that a Japanese team? Okay, a wipeout. That's okay. We just can't feed. So I'm going to try to tag team with somebody. Except this comp is not really good for that, and also I just uh, ran into a bomb. <laughs> well, I tried. We almost recapped it. Well, I guess that's what happens when you have a Japanese team and a bad comp. Oh well, we can still get the five wins. Up I go. Ow. Okay, that's a thing that happened. I like your message in chat. Up I go! Get bonked, gets bonked by the flingza. <laughs> do not, yeah, do not get blown up by that auto bomb. But I could give you an auto bomb. Easy. And there we go. That's officially a successful series. And they got a fist bump. Nice. What the? Why? Why? Why is the roller all the way over there? Guys, guys, there's enough of me to go around. Guys, guys, there's enough of me to go around. <laughs> Dude, it's so much less cool when you say a one-liner like that and then get smacked. <laughs> you just had the laggiest game ever. Dang. If I was, yeah, if I, if I was the one playing, I'd be like, is my switch about to explode? <laughs> Are the exhaust vents on my switch about to light on fire? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yep, that was certainly Izuka. And you still won anyway. <laughs> yeah, it took them a moment to realize they were dead. <laughs> Is there a lore reason why Dezuka doesn't understand they're dead? Is he stupid? Oh my, that's a lot. Two pages. I must not have visited Harmony since 
uh, before the Splatfest began. Frank Fishball. <laughs> that actually sounds like it would be a funny name of like a Spongebob character. Frank Fishball. Wait, that's a thing? You can deflect them? Yeah, you can deflect them. I guess it's, maybe it's because I have some upgrades that allow me to do that. Yeah, those enemies that like spin. Uh, I was deflecting them when I was when they were uh, spinning at me. All right, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the stream. But uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by, everybody, and also thank you for 500 subscribers. So yeah, the, it's certainly been an awesome uh, seven years or so. So yeah. Really excited for what the future holds. Yes, here's to the next 500. But until that time comes, well, that's just all for me for today. Have a nice night, everybody. See you around.